Um, all right, so Dana, I want to talk to you specifically a little bit because you wrote this really excellent piece that went up on the site today. Um, and if you haven't read it out there, you should. Uh, it's a piece about Instagram trolls and privacy settings. Um, but I'll let you kind of lay the groundwork, Dana. So tell us a little bit about what led to this story? Like, what what is the basic premise here? What what, sh what happened? So I'd been harassed um, enough times on Instagram that I decided enough was enough, and it led me to make my account private, which I didn't feel great about. I didn't like the feeling that I was giving in to the trolls, but given the privacy controls available, it seemed like the best decision and the one that I would feel safest with. And this began as a story, began as an editorial with a headline that would have been something like, Instagram doesn't care about harassment. And then I actually, um, I reached out to Instagram for comment and then shortly thereafter news broke in the Washington Post that Instagram was about to roll out certain um, comment controls that might actually prevent some harassment. Um, I went ahead with the piece anyway. I didn't go with a headline like Instagram doesn't care about harassment because clearly that is not quite true, that would be hyperbolic. Um, but I do still feel that the tools they they um, are rolling out are both overdue and also not quite enough. Okay, so let's let's take a quick step back. Um, Cause there was there was a specific instance recently that led you to change your privacy settings, correct? Yeah. Um, so this uh, I, I opened the app one day and I found this guy had had left comments really mean comments on at least half a dozen of my photos, some of which, one of which was um, about two and a half years old, which feels a little creepier to me because it's not mm -hmm. even at the top of my feed. You would really have to spend time not just going to find my profile, but then thumbing through my archive and scrolling all the way back two and a half years. Um, I had like a, you know, an inch of hair in this. So it, I had, this is like a foot worth of hair ago, <laughs> just to give you some perspective. Um, so, you know, it's creepy, and I'm less bothered by the insults themselves because a lot of them are juvenile. Someone, you know, said I had neck flaps. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, like, uh, like, like, like a turkey? Yeah. I, I guess. You don't. Yeah. No, so I know that's not true. So it wasn't <laughs> that um, um, I was too sensitive to the specific insults. It's just that it feels creepy when a stranger seeks you out just to insult you and to not even know why. I mean, mm -hmm. people have been following the site. No, I don't write as much as I used to. I definitely haven't written anything controversial recently. My Twitter is mostly silly stuff or promoting the stories we do. Maybe they didn't like the Trump retweets that I've been doing <laughs> lately. But um, so that's just, it's creepy to have, know you're targeted and to not know why. So I felt a little safer just um, locking my account and having control over who follows me. And you, I, I, I imagine that you're not the only person that this affects, though. You, I mean, you, you do happen to draw more attention than others, I assume, because, you know, you are a public figure. Um, you are the managing editor of one of the largest tech publications on the web. But you're, you're not alone. This affects other people, right? Yeah, I mean... Until now, it's been very black and white. Either you have a public account or a private account, and you can't prevent uh, randos or strangers from commenting on your page. You can you can delete a comment or and then report people and block them, but at that point, the abuse has already happened, and they've already um, potentially harassed you in public. Mm -hmm. So what if you are a not famous person, but you've been using hashtags? What if someone clicks on a popular hashtag you use, cats of Instagram? and a rando ends up on your photo. Um, it's, it's very public, and um, I think that's one use case. I also, um, I'm not speaking from personal experience, because again, I'm, I'm an old person, <laughs> but um, you know, people, teenagers get bullied on Instagram, among other social um, platforms. So the people who might be harassing you might not be strangers, as they are in my case. Maybe they're just jerk kids who you go to school with. Um, I think either way, people, should have control over who's allowed to comment on their profile. And I don't mm -hmm. think it would really change fundamentally the experience of Instagram. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're in a high profile position too, Dana. Like, or, or do you have any avenues of recourse with Instagram that normal people don't? Have you tried to discuss this with them? Yeah, I mean, I, to your point, I am mm -hmm. in a privileged position. Yeah. So I can not just ask Instagram for a comment on the story, but I sent a separate email to um 
the woman who works with Mallory, our social media manager, just describing my experiences and um, wasn't expecting any immediate um, change, but I, that's more than most people can do. Email a specific person and give feedback and know mm -hmm. that you're going to get a response. Whereas most of the time, what generally happens is if you report abuse, you can report it, but Instagram is not going to follow up and say and give you um, an update on what happened, at least with Twitter. And I'm not saying Twitter is good at this, but if I report someone for hate speech on Twitter, I'll get some sort of automated response that says this does not meet our um, our definition of hate speech, which, by the way, has been my complete <laughs> experience on Twitter. I have never sure. uh, successfully had a troll disabled or banned on Twitter. Um, I guess they have, have a have loose, had, yeah. Yeah, me and you have had very different experiences on that one. I've gotten many accounts banned in the last month or so. Oh, really? <laughs> Terrence covered the Republican National Convention, so basically, why? enough said. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had a number of people threaten violence against me. That's, I think that's the dividing line, is if they threaten violence, no matter how nonspecific, they shut them down immediately. Like, even if it's just like a general thing of, you know, you'll be first in line when the revolution comes, then they get shut down. Mm -hmm. Do you, well, I mean, so you guys are mentioning Twitter right now, so they have that reporting tool, but what other social networks have better privacy or better kind of protective measures, you think? Facebook, which boring. owns Instagram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the crazy. irony. Facebook has owned Instagram. I, I, I checked this for, for four years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instagram itself is about six years old. And a lot, so it's not like I'm some sort of genius, creative genius with great product ideas. I'm just, I see these features that work on other social networks, including Facebook, and don't see why they can't be applied. What sort of features? Yeah. For instance, on Instagram, I would prefer it if only people who I followed back could mm -hmm. comment on my posts. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, same, like on Facebook, it, it's possible to um, make it so that strangers, um, even if they can, even if my post does show up in their feed, they can't comment on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, I know they can implement implement that. They have a big product team, and it's infuriating just when you look at what Instagram has been investing its resources in. <laughs> you know, think of all the energy they put into censoring photos of nipples yeah. on Instagram. And copying or, Snapchat. Yeah, I was just yeah. going to say. Or, and or copying, copying Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. Or there was a recent tool that Instagram um, announced where it translates foreign languages in photos of text which seems way more esoteric, way more obscure <laughs> yeah, than that. the ability to block comments from randos. I think a lot of people would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I've seen this too. My wife has been putting up photos on Instagram and occasionally there will be weird comments coming from nowhere. It's a strange thing. I, yeah, she would love the ability to block those. Yeah, I've, I've had less of an experience with people on Instagram <laughs> uh, harassing me. It's mostly on Twitter, but that's mostly because that's where I'm active. It's funny. It's been funny talking to my male coworkers mm -hmm. about Instagram harassment specifically. I get that you've been harassed on Twitter, and I think that transcends any particular gender. But yeah. on Instagram, when I've talked to my male coworkers about it, they've been like, oh, yeah, harassment. I've been followed by random <laughs> sex bots. Oh, well, I mean, that's, yeah. some bots. that's not harassment. That's, I mean, I've had oh, people. That's a gift. Okay. Like that's spam. That's annoying, but yeah, that's not that's harassment. That's not harassment. I mean, I, I've had, like, people follow me and, like, go back and, like, leave, mm -hmm. you know, insulting comments on old photos. I mean, it happened fairly recently to me, too. Somebody just, like, decided to go back and go through, like, a whole bunch of photos and just write fag on all of them. Mm -hmm. Which. I've, and yeah, I've, some of the stuff I've seen is. Um, homophobic, which I'm not accustomed to, and it makes me just appreciate what um, mm -hmm. gay and trans people have yeah. to put up with all the time. Chris Trout, you know, our executive editor, um, has said that he's been harassed about his sexuality on yeah. Instagram before. I mean, and to, to clarify, half of my Instagram feed is like me and my wife, so mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't it's know. It's very confusing. I mean, Instagram being a visual social network, right? I think a big part of it is that gaze. And then you have the male gaze and you mm -hmm. have all the problems around it. So I can easily so I, you could see why like any if you're if you're a woman, you're going to have a lot more issues on Instagram just by the nature of the surface. Mm -hmm. I think for that reason I like when I post on Instagram, I I, I, I'm extremely extra careful mm -hmm. about what I post on Instagram. I don't want to post anything that's too revealing, which I really shouldn't feel weird about, but I do, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So so I, what what is Instagram doing though? You said before that the you know news broke right as you were about to publish this yeah. that they are actually implementing new features. So what are those features? So um, there are two features. One is that you'll be able to dis, uh, disable comments on a per post basis. That's a good start, I think. It's unfortunate because that would rule out comments from 
friends who might have actually nice things to say. Mm -hmm. um, the other tool is you can block certain keywords. And supermodel Chrissy Teigen already got uh, access to this feature. Basically, it's rolling out to celebrities first. And she posted on Twitter a screenshot of um, the various words that she decided to block. Um, you know, I think maybe slut was one of them. And, you know, you could really pile on. For mm -hmm. me, oh, I don't want to be called that, hear neck flaps again. <laughs> you know, or they called me a five head. I could block that word. But to me, that seems like a whack-a-mole solution. Because if you really wanted right. to insult me, you could find a way mm -hmm. yeah. around that um, Around the, Engli that. the English language is very versatile if you want to insult somebody. Yeah. I can't or wait I, for the emoji insults. Oh, mm. man. Also, yeah. I don't want to spend time. I don't like exactly. the idea yeah. of spending my time doing that. I mm -hmm. think a better use of my time is to just have fine privacy controls that I can set and forget. Either mm -hmm. turn off comments on the whole post, or if they'll let me one day, just let my friends comment. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like seeing myself spending my time in such a petty way and playing a game of whack-a-mole it's not even effective and know? having somebody sit there and write like all the bad things people <laughs> say about them that is weirdly that's not great that yeah. you're just I don't want to relive it yeah. yeah that's just yeah that's not a great solution that mm -hmm. is that's got to be a bad feeling um and again if part of the issue is the creepiness of being in the public eye i don't think that really addresses that it it, it doesn't um, so i guess you know it, it's nice that they're attempting to ad address it but i mean it, you know, like you said in the piece, it's clearly too little, too late. This is something that Instagram should have been on a long time ago. Not too late. They, they, I would still like them to do it, but I'm not going going to... Oh, by the way, what I said too late, I didn't mean don't do it, just throw <laughs> up your hands and just go like, this is just something that before Boomerang, before right. Snapchat copying, they should have had <laughs> like legitimate privacy controls. Yeah. Um, that being said, you know, still going to use Instagram. Yeah. It's still going to happen. 